The actress, director, and screenwriter Adrienne Levine was better known by the stage name Adrienne Shelley. She gained recognition for her roles in independent films like Hal Hartley's The Unbelievable Truth and Trust. On November 1, 2006, she was killed by strangulation and hanging. American actress Betty Louise Ackerman mainly appeared on television. Between 1961 and 1966, Ackerman starred as Dr. Maggie Graham on ABC's medical drama Ben Casey. It was in 1959 that Ackerman made her film debut in Face of Fire. Ackerman died on November 1, 2006, after suffering a stroke in Columbia, South Carolina. Known mostly for supporting roles in Mel Brooks' films, Carol Arado was an American actress. In 1980, Arthur played Mrs. Peru in a Broadway revival of The Music Man starring Dick Van Dyke. Arthur passed away on November 1, 2020, at the Motion Picture and Television Country House and Hospital in Los Angeles. Freddie Dalton Thompson held various roles during his lifetime, including politician, lawyer, lobbyist, columnist, actor, and radio personality. In movies, television shows, and commercials, he often played governmental officials and military men. Thompson died of lymphoma recurrence on November 1, 2015. The American actor Kenneth Charles Swafford often played villains and police officers in films and television. In addition to appearing in many films between 1962 and 1995, including Thelma and Louise, Skyjacked, Black Roses, and The Andromeda Strain, his TV career also flourished during this period. Swafford passed away on November 1, 2018. Noah Lindsay Beery was an American actor known for playing warm and friendly characters, such as his Oscar-winning uncle, Wallace Beery. Beery Jr. rarely had leading roles, unlike his more famous uncle. He passed away in Tehachapi, California, at 81 years old, from cerebral thrombosis. In addition to being an entertainer, Phil Silvers was also an actor and comedic actor who was known as the King of Chutzpah. The professional entertainer's career spanned nearly 60 years. Silvers began entertaining at age 11 when a broken film projector led him to sing in the cinema. In Century City, California, Silvers died in his sleep on November 1, 1985.